morning and welcome to this uh, new episode which is directed for IGCSC. Uh, here in this uh, episode I'm going to solve uh, approximately 12 uh, challenging questions uh, which uh, these questions are uh, considered uh, uh, very hard or difficult for the candidates and uh, approximately 75% of the candidates uh, unfortunately uh, haven't got the correct answer and these questions here let's start with the first one when uh, this question when pink crystals of cobalt chloride are heated steam is given off and the color of the solid changes to blue okay so, according to this balanced chemical equation, we have here a reversible reaction. What happens when water is added to the blue solid? That means your reaction it will be it will be to this side. The forward reaction. Uh, sorry, the backward uh, reaction. So, here, yes, most of the uh, Candidates, they have chosen A, but actually the correct answer is B. Yes, changes to pink, it's very clear, okay? But here you can see the H2O is bonded with cobalt chloride. And you know, formation of bond, formation of bond, it means what? Exothermic. And exothermic, that means temperature, how it will be? it will be an increase. So the correct answer is B. Next question. For steps to prepare a salt from an excess of solid base and an acid are listed. You have crystallization, evaporation, filtration, neutralization. Here in this question, uh, most of the candidates, they have chosen the uh, option C, which is neutralization, uh, then evaporation, then uh, crystallization. At the end, they have done filtration. Actually, this is totally wrong. The correct answer is D. Yes, first of all, we need to neutralize this reaction. Why neutralization? Because you started with base and acid, so it's neutralization. So this is the first one. And most of the candidates, they have uh, skipped this step, filtration. Now, uh, the aim of doing filtration to remove an excess of solid base. So the next step should be Three, then evaporation to reduce the amount of uh, solution and then you will uh, do the crystallization so option D is the correct answer next question which row describes the conditions used to make steel from the iron produced by blast phones here in this question most of the candidates they have chosen the incorrect answer which is C this one totally wrong okay the correct answer this one A yes they have chosen oxygen and heat oxygen and heat but the aim of using calcium oxide actually during this manufacturing uh, which is used to remove the acidic impurities to form the slag a slag which is a compound uh, which has been formed between the reaction between the calcium oxide and uh, silicon oxide okay which is called calcium silicate okay so here in this case we need to choose calcium oxide oxygen and heat 
in this equation you have W, X, Y and Z are four metals. Some properties of these metals are listed below. First one, only W and Z can be extracted by reduction of their oxide with carbon. So from the method of extraction, uh, we can anticipate that both of W and Z are located in the uh, in the below of the reactivity series. That means they are very low. Uh, they, that means their uh, re their reactivity is uh, are very low. In the option two, only X would react with cold water. So X react with cold water. That means this X is very reactive, and only Z can be found negative. That means this one uh, should be at the bottom of the reactivity series. So the correct answer for this equation actually it's B. X is the most reactive one. W and Z they are located at the bottom of the reactivity series and Z at the bottom. That means the least reactive one Z because it can be found native. Okay, correct. But the problem here it we actually with Y. Okay. So most of the students they have chosen the uh, A, which is totally wrong. Okay, because they haven't figured out uh, why it's located where. Okay, that means why I have put it after X, because. As X will react with cold water, that means this is the most reactive one. Okay, and here we haven't mentioned about Y. Uh, that means uh, the reactivity of Y comes after X. So this is a question here. It's uh, a little bit uh, confused for the candidates. In the next question here, the pollutants released into the air from car exhaust and some power stations include oxides of the type XO and YO2. What are X and Y? Now you have car exhaust. That means could be uh, the gases which are produced from the combustion reaction. Okay. Uh, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So that means carbon should be here in this column and here as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Okay. And power station, they are actually, they are using uh, low quality of a fuel. So in this case, maybe you will produce nitrogen dioxide and the sulfur dioxide. Okay. And also if you have formed nitrogen dioxide that means you have to form also nitrogen monoxide because both of these nitrogen oxides are formed together so carbon and nitrogen carbon nitrogen and sulfur that means the option d okay and uh, most of the candidates they have chosen uh, b actually okay because they have uh, no idea about these oxides. That means if you have nitrogen dioxide, that means you need to have uh, nitrogen monoxide in the same time. And also, uh, they have missed that the carbon dioxide, which is uh, the main product of the combustion reactions uh, and also uh, considered as a pollutant. Here, the, in the diagram, the diagram represents a limeclin. Limeclin, okay. What leaves the forms at X? Limeclin, okay. What you are going to form? That means you are going to form lime. But you can see here, what, what do we have? We have clean that means here the uh, the temperature is very high 
So limestone, which is calcium carbonate, it will be decomposed into lime and carbon dioxide. Okay, and already from the diagram, you are forming lime. So X should be C. Okay, you are forming calcium oxide. Calcium oxide, it's lime. Okay. In this equation, uh, which statements are correct for ethanoic acid? It contains ethanoic acid. Let's draw the displayed formula of ethanoic acid. It contains a carbon oxygen double bond. Yes, this one. It contains two carbon atoms. Yes, one, two. It decolorizes bromine water. Now, bromine water only reacts with carbon carbon double bond, not carbon dioxide. So this one it's incorrect statement. It contains an OH group. Yes, we can see here OH group. So one, two, and four. Which is C. Okay, so uh, next question, in which equation does the oxidation of the underlying compound occur? Here this equation you need to understand it. Here in the, this equation uh, asking about which underlined compound or uh, element will be oxidized okay will be oxidized not the result of the oxidation reaction so here you can see this kappa and you can you will compare it with the reactant so here you have copper oxide here positive 2 and here 0 this is a reduction okay so this one and the reaction is forward so this one totally wrong and the next question you have carbon monoxide here, it's positive. Positive 2 is converted into carbon dioxide, positive 4. So here, the underlying compound has been oxidized. So this is the correct answer. But most of the candidates, they have chosen the C, which is totally wrong. Why? Because they have uh, thought that magnesium oxide is uh, oxidized. Yes, it's oxidized, it's correctly. But the question here does, in which equation does the oxidation of the underlying compound occur? That means will be oxidized. Okay, but actually here magnesium oxide is the result of oxidation, so it's incorrect. While uh, in a B carbon monoxide, has been oxidized so this is the correct answer here in this uh, question which method is used to make the salt copper sulfate this one is very clear the option b okay dilute acid plus carbonate you will that means you, you are going to form uh, copper sulfate so you have to start with sulfuric acid plus copper carbonate you will form copper sulfate and carbon dioxide it will be evaporated and H2O here uh, H2O and that means you, you are going to evaporate it or making crystallization but most of the candidates they have chosen C which is incorrect the correct one is B why is C is incorrect because metal that means copper plus H2SO4 here actually no reaction because this metal ha will not react with dilute any acid, any uh, diluted acid. So see, it's totally wrong. Here in this equation, which statement is not correct, aluminium is used in food containers because it's resistance to corrosion. This is correct. We are 
looking for the incorrect one. Aluminium is used in the uh, manufacture of aircraft because its strength and low density is correct. Melda steel. What's the uses of melda steel? Melda steel is used in car bodies because its strength and low density. Now you have to ask yourself. Okay? And stainless steel is used in chemical plant because of its strength and resistant to corrosion. Actually here in this question uh, the correct uh, answer which is the incorrect statement is C. So this uh, question it's related uh, to the uses of uh, melded steel and stainless steel which are listed clearly in the syllables. That means melded steel here it's not used actually for car bodies. Okay. And the last question, uh, carbon monoxide is given out from the exhaust of vehicles that burn uh, fossil fuels, which shows why carbon monoxide is a pollutant. Pollutant, yes, is toxic. So it could be B or D. But carbon monoxide, is it acidic oxide? Actually not. Carbon monoxide, it's not similar to the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is acidic, but carbon monoxide, it's neutral. So it will be B. Okay, so the correct option is B. But most of the candidates, they have chosen D. Okay, because they have uh, thought the carbon monoxide is similar to the carbon dioxide and uh, it's uh, acidic. Actually, it's neutral. So let's see if we have another question. Yes, this is the last question. Okay, the structure of compound Y is shown. Here we have another uh, question about ethanoic acid. This is ethanoic acid, which row describes some of the physical properties of Y. Now, colorless, yes, it's colorless. Okay, so it could be C or D. Now, char characteristic smell, yes. Dissolving water, yes. So it will be D. Why is dissolving water? Because here you have what? OH. This OH will form hydrogen bond. With what? With H2O. So that means soluble. Okay? Most of... Uh, the polar compounds will form uh, hydrogen bonds, so it will be soluble. And this compound considered as polar compound. Okay, and actually, uh, most of the candidates they have chosen the incorrect uh, answer, which is C, because they have no uh, no idea about the uh, the solubility of uh, the carboxylic acids. Okay, actually, carboxylic acids. Okay are soluble in water especially the uh, from one to six we can see the carboxylic acid which uh, uh, has uh, one carbon or two carbon three four till six but after six the solubility it will be decreased as the non-polar part it will be increased okay so uh, thank you for listening and uh, actually practicing to solve these questions uh, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.